In this lesson, we are going to learn about Azure Key Vault. Microsoft Azure Key Vault is a cloud service that works as security enhanced secret store. Key Vault allows you to create multiple security enhanced containers called vaults. These vaults are backed by hardware security modules or known as HSMs. Vaults helps to reduce the chance of accidentally losing security information by centralizing the storage of application secrets. Vaults also control and log the access to anything stored in them. Azure Key Vault is designed to support any type of secret such as a password, database credential, API key or certificate. Software or HSM can help to protect these secrets. Azure Key Vault can also handle requesting and renewing TLS certificates providing the features required for a robust certificate lifecycle management solution. Let's understand some of the key vault concepts. First, let's look into vault. A vault is a logical group of secrets. A vault owner can create a key vault and gain full access and control over it. And the vault owner can also set up auditing to log who accesses secrets and keys and administrators can control the key lifecycle. And then there is Vault Consumer. A Vault Consumer can perform actions on the assets inside the key vault when the Vault Owner grants the consumer access. The available actions depend on the permissions granted. So how do you perform authentication in Key Vault? So to perform any operations with Key Vault, you first need to authenticate to it. So there are primarily three ways to access it or authenticate it. The first one is using managed identity, then service principle and certificate, and then service principle and secret. So let's look into managed identity first. So when you deploy an app on a virtual machine in Azure, you can assign an identity to your virtual machine that has access to Key Vault. You can also assign identities to other Azure resources. The benefit of this approach is that the app or service isn't managing the rotation of the first secret. Azure automatically rotates the identity. Microsoft recommends this approach as a best practice. Now let's look into service principle. First, service principle and certificate. So you can use service principle and an associate certificate that has access to Key Vault. Microsoft don't recommend this approach because the application owner or the developer must rotate the certificate. The second option is service principle with a secret. Although you can use service principle and a secret to authenticate to Key Vault, Microsoft don't recommend this either. It's hard to automatically rotate the bootstrap secret that's used to authenticate to Key Vault. Now let's look into Key Vault secret types. Key Vault enabled Azure applications and users to store and use several types of secret key data, including cryptographic keys, secrets, certificates, and Azure storage. First look into cryptographic keys. Key Vault supports multiple key types and algorithms and using hardware security modules for high value keys. Let's look into secrets. Key walls provide secure storage for secrets such as passwords and database connection strings. What about certificates? Key walls support certificates which are built on top of keys and secrets and add an automated renewal feature. And Azure Storage Key Vault can manage the keys of an Azure storage account. Internally, Key Vault can list keys with an Azure storage account and regenerate the keys periodically. This simple script demonstrates how you can create a resource group and Azure Key Vault resource by using Azure CLI. Once created, the script creates and then retrieves a secret named database password in the Key Vault resource. Key Vault provides a way to securely store credentials and other keys and secrets. However, your code needs to authenticate to Key Vault to retrieve them. 
you can use a security token that you generate and pass it on to the constructor of the key vault client access class. After you have a client instance, you can use get secret async method to retrieve a secret by using unique URI and then retrieve the value of the secrets from the bundle. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about Azure managed identities. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.